Hi, welcome back to my channel Azure Learn. My name is Nagendra Kumar Singhoti and today's topic is all about virtual machine scale sets. What are these virtual machine scale sets? Virtual machine scale sets let you create and manage a group of load balanced VMs. And the number of VM instances can automatically increase or decrease in response to demand or a defined schedule. And this provides a high availability to your applications and allow you to centrally manage, configure and update a large number of VMs. And with this virtual machine scale sets, you can build large scale services for areas such as big data and container workloads. So what's the difference between managing the virtual machines on your own, which are in a group and then a scale set. Let's have a look. Let's consider a scenario wherein you would like to add an extra VM instance to the group of VMs which you are already manually managing. So the process is manual for you to create, configure and ensure compliance. Whereas in virtual machine scale set, it gets done automatically. And let's say if you are trying to balance the traffic and distribution then also it's a manual process for you to create and configure Azure Load Balancer or Application Gateway. Whereas in VM Scale Set, you can automatically create and integrate Azure Load Balancer or Application Gateway. In case of high availability and redundancy also, it's a manual work for you to create availability set or distribute and track VMs across availability zones when you manage on your own. However, in VM scale set scenario, the automatic distribution of VM instances across availability zones or availability sets would happen. And scaling of VMs, again, it's manual when you manage group of VMs on your own because you will have to, it involves manual monitoring and Azure automation. Whereas in virtual machine scale set, auto scale based on the host metrics or in guest metrics or application insights or event schedule. Okay, so now let's get into a quick demo. I have already kept the screenshots ready for the demo that I have created. Get into Azure portal, type in VMSS in the search box and then select virtual machine scale sets. Click on create virtual machine scale set. Provision information basics like subscription, resource group, virtual machine scale set, name, region. Further, select the availability zone and then for orchestration mode, you have two options, uniform and flexible. In case if you are working with identical instances, choose the option uniform. In case if you are working with multiple type of virtual machines, then choose the option flexible. Security type, I am selecting standard here. And then I have selected a Windows Server image you can do the same for linux vms also in case if you are spinning up with linux vms choose the appropriate linux vm image here and the appropriate size click on next to go to disks and in disks i have selected the standard ssd with a locally redundant storage and i went with the default encryption i'm clicking next to go to networking details and i have selected the default networking option here you would have even one more option to put this VM scale set behind the load balancer. I haven't created the load balancer yet. I would be creating the load balancer after creating the VM scale set. That's how I am going to show it to you in today's demo. So nothing I am selecting apart from the default and virtual network option and then clicking on next to choose the scaling options. In scaling options, here you would have two options, manual and custom. So you can set, if you would like to have the manual scaling policy to be in place, you can set some number and then go ahead and then choose the scaling policy, whether to balance across availability zones and fault domains or something else. Here, 
what I did is I chose custom and then here in custom for minimum number of instances I am saying 1 maximum number of instances 10 and for scale out options what I have said is if CPU percentage consumption goes beyond 75% then I am saying number of instances to increase by 1 and this to happen in a consistent time maybe around 10 minutes or so if this consumption goes higher then one instance would get increased and in the same way if the consumption goes below 25 percent then i am saying reduce the number of instances by one so that's how i've chosen the option here in a custom scale and i went with defaults for logs and scaling policy i went with default and then clicking on next to choose the management options upgrade mode i am choosing manual and then for boot diagnostics i am going with the default and then click on next and for health i am not choosing any option leaving it blank and here in advanced i am going with the defaults click next go to tax i am not providing any tax for now here and checking for it to review and then create and validation got passed and then clicking on create and deployment is in progress deployment is complete now and here is the status four out of four succeeded okay let's check now the number of instances these are the four instances which got created now and they're all running if you see through the visualizer what i have here is a azure bastion and there is a virtual network and there is a vm scale set so these are all the elements currently that i have in my resource group and coming to the metrics if you have a look cpu consumption is not that much and if you remember we have put a uh, scale in policy wherein the consumption goes less than 25 percent we have asked it to reduce the count by one and then it kept on doing it's just only one instance i have okay and if you see the networking topology only one vm rest of all it's not there okay now let's try to understand the scaling a bit so here currently it is in custom auto scale wherein we have put a threshold for scale out and scale in for scale out 75 percent and for scale in 25 percent now i would like to show it to you with a manual scale option i am choosing manual scale option and then changing the instance count to four and then it's updating the resource instance count and if you see it is creating and then starting the vms and it's creating and running and it all succeeded it's running all the four instances now running okay so now see the topology if you see in the network topology you can find that all the four vms are running okay we do not have a load balancer yet so let's try to create a load balancer and even before creating a load balancer and pushing these vms behind the load balancer i would like to explain you public load balancer is one of the options when you would like to make this vms exposed to the internet and then there is an internal load balancer option available so here this internal load balancer is not exposed to the public internet directly you can assign public ip address to public load balancers and you can assign private ip address to internal load balancers i'm going to create an internal load balancer and then try to put these vm scale set behind the internal load balancer that's my objective so i am trying to add a load balancer and a networking i am here in the virtual machine scale set and under networking click on load balancing and then choose the option add load balancing and here if you already have an existing load balancer you can choose the option to select that 
However, since I do not have load balancer created yet, I am going to create a load balancer now. Here, under basics, supply the information like subscription, resource group, instance name, and then the region where you would like to create this load balancer, and then whether you require a standard or a basic SKU. Choose all the appropriate options, and then here I am choosing the tier to be regional and then type to be internal click on next and then here for front end ip configuration at least one front end ip configuration is required so i am clicking here add front end ip configuration and then supply the details like the front end ip configuration name and then the subnet and then the assignment whether it requires to be dynamic or static and then availability zone i am selecting it as zone redundant and then click on add so the front end ip configuration is done and for now back end pool i am not creating it now i would create it at the end after showing you how the load balancer detail gets updated with the back end pool for now i am moving ahead by clicking next and inbound ports, I go with the defaults. Click next to look into outbound rules. For outbound rules, I'm going with the defaults. I am not adding any. Click next to go to tags. No tags are being added by now. I'm going to click next to review and then create. It's running the validation. And then once the validation gets passed, I would go ahead and then create it validation passed click on create and deployment is complete you can go to resource here you can see that the load balancer is created however the backend pool is empty this is what i was trying to show you sometime back while following the wizard now we will try to create a backend pool under networking under load balancing click on add load balancing and then here choose the option for the appropriate load balancer where you would like to create a backend pool click on create new and then give the backend pool name and then click on save now the backend pool is also added to the load balancer if you see the list of connected devices these are all the vms and then this this is the load balancer along with the azure bastion if you do not know what is azure bastion i have already created a video on azure bastion you can watch that video the link is available on the top right corner if you have a look through resource visualizer you can find these components now earlier we didn't have the load balancer in place now you can see that the scale set is behind the load balancer there is a virtual network there is a load balancer there is a vm scale set and then there is a an azure bastion also along with the network security group rules associated with the virtual network this is how the current resource pattern is okay so let's have a look at the overall topology now so this is the overall topology what we have created is a vm scale set and we have put that behind a load balancer and that load balancer had a front end ip it's a load balancer with a back end pool and overall setup is like this this is it for today and hope the video was helpful and if you have found this helpful give it a big thumbs up and then don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for all the upcoming videos and a big thank you for all the subscribers and please do keep supporting me as always have a great day ahead bye bye